The solar system is home to eight distinct planets. All of them are spread out across their orbits, not intersecting, and they usually keep to themselves. This seems to be typical among planetary systems across the Milky Way. Planets rarely cross each other's orbits, and in fact, having a clear orbit of other large objects is one of the criteria to be classified as a planet in the first place. But recently, new findings have shown that planets with intersecting orbits are not impossible. There could even be cases where a large planet could host another, smaller planet in its orbit, called a Trojan planet. For this to happen, a planet must form at a larger planet's five Lagrange points. A Lagrange point is a place between two different massive objects, like a planet and a star, where their gravitational forces are equal, making any objects that wander into these places stick around. There are five Lagrange points each system can have. Earth has five Lagrange points with the Sun and a separate five with the Moon. Of these five points, only the last two, L4 and L5, are stable for long periods of time, and are situated 60 degrees ahead and behind of the smaller object's orbit. In these Lagrange points, asteroids and other objects can be captured and share the orbit of a planet for a long time. The Jupiter-Sun Lagrange points are by far the biggest and most populated. 60 degrees ahead and behind Jupiter, there are thousands of asteroids caught by the immense gravity of the giant planet. But the L4 and L5 points of planets are capable of hosting far more than just asteroids. This is PDS-70, a young star system located about 360 light years from Earth. It's only about 5 million years old, making it very young as far as stars go. It's surrounded by a hot protoplanetary disk and at least two actively forming planets, PDS-70b and C, with material for many more unseen potential planets. A recent discovery in the PDS-70 system found a cloud of debris likely a bit more massive than Earth's moon in the orbit of PDS-70b, the innermost of the two known planets. This debris cloud could indicate the presence of a Trojan planet in PDS-70b's orbit around its star. While the Trojan planet hasn't been confirmed to exist yet, it could be the first ever planet of its type. However, this Trojan planet, if it exists, might be unstable, and due to tidal interactions with the planet, the star, and the debris disk, might eventually get ejected out of its orbit or crash into PDS-70b. It's possible that Earth might have had a Trojan planet in its past. Theia, the hypothetical Mars-sized planet that collided with Earth and formed the Moon, might have formed as a Trojan companion to Earth before gravitational disturbances sent it on a collision course with our planet. This would have happened when the solar system was very young, like PDS-70 is today. However, the story that all Trojan planets are destined to be destroyed or ejected might not be true. In rare cases, there can be Trojan planets with stable orbits shared with other, more massive planets. A study in 2007 found that there are seven known gas giant exoplanets that could host stable Trojan planets. Not only that, but each of them are lie in the habitable zone of their star, giving them potentially temperate conditions. These planets could host habitable, Earth-sized planets in their orbits, which could be stable long enough to develop life, assuming no other large planets in the system to disturb them. One of these planets is called HD 93083b. It was also named Melchiades in 2019, after a character from a Colombian novel. Out of the seven, Melchiades is the smallest, its minimum estimated mass being little over that of Saturn. Its star, Macondo, is a K-type star, less than half as bright as the Sun. Melchiades orbits Macondo at about half the distance Earth does the Sun, and so is right in the middle of the Havel zone. Its orbit takes about 144 days to complete. Out of the seven, Melchiades is also the closest to us, at just under 100 light years away. Even if any hypothetical Trojan planet of Melchiades does turn out to be uninhabitable or non-existent, there are still six other gas giant planets that could all host a habitable Trojan planet. There's HD 99109b, also known as Perwana, on the outer edge of its star's habitable zone, and so could host frozen, icy Trojan planets. Or HD 221287b, also known as Pipitea, a giant planet three times the size of Jupiter, and could host not only a habitable Trojan planet, but is estimated to have formed with enough material around it that it may also host a Mars-sized moon. However, there is a problem with these Trojan planets, and that's other large planets in the system. It's likely that gravitational disturbances from the planets could cause Trojans to become unstable and get ejected over time. This is why, of the seven planets, I personally think Pipitea is the most likely to host one. Let's assume Pipitea hosts both a Trojan planet and a Mars-sized moon. If both the moon and the Trojan planet were to exist, it could open up the opportunity for exchange of material between the two. Asteroid impacts could send material infested with microbes toward the hypothetical large moon of Pipitea, or the other way around. If these microbes survive getting to the surface of the moon, 
or even the upper atmosphere of the gas giant, they could expand and colonize the planet with life. This is known as panspermia and could be fairly common with Trojan planets. If these Trojan planets do turn out to be lifeless, they could still be optimal targets for colonization. Trojan planets are in unique positions in their star systems, as they don't move all that much with respect to the larger planet, unlike moons or other regular planets. Unfortunately, no Trojan planet has yet been confirmed, but that might be possible, and whether it be around Pipitea or Milkiades or somewhere else entirely, they are just waiting to be discovered. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, as I'm a small channel and every bit helps. I also might make a sequel to this video about colonizing these Trojan planets, but it's just an idea and I haven't started it yet.